Cassidy, March 14th to the 17th. Would you welcome Ronnie Shakes? Ronnie? Thank you, thank you, yeah. Yeah, I guess you can see it, huh? I'm in love with life. I wake up every morning, I kiss the ground in gratitude. I relish in the sensation of freshly brushed teeth. Endlessly running my tongue across their glistening surfaces. I don't need booze or artificial stimulants. I need prompt medical attention. You gotta take things one day at a time. I don't know exactly what the future holds for me. Oh, I'm pretty sure it involves an observation tower and a high-powered rifle. <laughs> you see, I have this problem in general with authority figures. I tend to panic much too easily. Once a cop spotted me jaywalking, I took hostages. <laughs> they arrested me, took me down to jail, told me I was allowed one phone call. Nobody called. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> Big guy like me, I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I've been seeing this guy for two and a half, 12 years now. <laughs> but he said something last week that just brought tears to my eyes. He said no oblo in glace. <laughs> I've been pouring my guts out to illegal alien all these years. <laughs> So I had to get a new shrink. I ordered a new guy a couple of bucks already. He's starting to put on the old pressure, you know? Last time I went up to his office, I heard my tapes in the elevator. <laughs> That's not real professional, I don't think. But these shrinks, they blame everything on your parents. I don't know. I like my parents. My father was a very straightforward man. He could be brutally honest sometimes. Once he said to me, Ronnie, you have no college education. You have no job. You're a bum. Get out of the house. He said, Pop, I'm only six years old. Maybe kindergarten will straighten me out. I was a little insecure as a child uh, when I was around eight years old. I asked my mother if I was adopted. She said, yes. But they returned you. <laughs> now, my mother was not a gourmet cook by any standards. I recall once at breakfast, she said to me, Ronnie, is the coffee too strong? I said, heck no, Mom. I always spit up blood in the morning. <laughs> Just my way of starting the day. A little hemorrhaging in the AM. Things always get better after that. Every holiday, she'd make fruitcake. Oh, I hate fruitcake. What the hell is that stuff? I can't find any fruit in there. Just these sticky, gummy, chewy, multicolored things in there. Things you don't see the rest of the year suddenly appear in that cake. It's a disgusting, ugly cake, that cake. You find the hair in that cake, you found the best part of that cake. And fruitcake sweats. <laughs> Beads of perspiration find their way to the surface of that cake. There's sweat glands in there somewhere. 
and absolutely nothing goes good with fruitcake. Except maybe botulism. But every year she made fruitcake. She could come up with these weird combinations too. Once she mixed together tuna helper and hamburger helper. Tried to pass it off as surf and turf. <laughs> no, Mom, this is garbage. I'll have a cup of coffee with this. I think she got her cooking habits from Grandma. Grandma lives with us now, nice old gal, about 86 years old. And she recently had a, uh, a pacemaker installed. We went ahead and put a dimmer switch on it. <laughs> Now she starts ranting and raving, you just turn it down. <laughs> On the other hand, you want to paint the house, you crank it all the way. That's funny stuff. You're going to be... That's a funny guy. You're going to be hearing a lot about him. That's Ronnie Shakes. Material. That's original funny material and great delivery. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. 